As technologies and design tastes change, the way homes are being built are changing as well. Get ready to be inspired as we take a look at the top 15 futuristic houses. Number 15. Villa Ypsilon, Greece The Villa Ypsilon is a stunning futuristic home that was built by Lassa Architects in 2017. It's on a hilltop in Finnacunda, Greece, and has been purposefully designed to blend into the surroundings as much as possible. With an internal floor space of 1,600 square feet, it's split into two parts. There's a more private living area with three bedrooms and two bathrooms, all of which have incredible views to the east of the property. The kitchen and living rooms are in a common area that look to the south of the house and have spacious access to the three courtyards outside of the building. It's made of a concrete shell with a planted roof and incorporates numerous modern technologies, including a cross-ventilation strategy that reduces the need for AC units. Everything in the villa is custom designed and new construction techniques were developed to create the free-form pool. All of the materials such as the terrazzo, concrete, and marble were sourced locally too making this home one of the most environmentally conscious luxury buildings anywhere on Earth. Number 14. The Capitol Hill Villa, Russia The Capitol Hill residence, which is on a hillside in Barvika, Russia, was designed by renowned architect Zaha Hadid, and at an estimated cost of 140 million bucks, it's one of the most expensive residences in the world. Considering land prices in the area are relatively cheap, this just shows how much technology and ingenuity went into the construction of the building. Set across four floors, it offers more than 28,000 square feet of living space. The master suite is at the top of a concrete spire and is 72 feet above the ground. And the residents use a glass elevator or stairs to reach it. The lowest level contains the leisure facility, such as a swimming pool, fitness suite, and entertainment lounge, while the entrance on the first floor leads directly to the guest and children's bedrooms, as well as a library and another entertainment area. The owner, billionaire Vladislav Doronin, had the residence specifically designed for privacy and to make use of the stunning views of the countryside, but he's also very keen on high-end cuisine. To satisfy this need, the kitchen is better equipped than those you'd find in the most exclusive restaurants in the world. From the outside, the Capitol Hill Villa truly looks like no other. With its glazed walls, irregular lines, and unusual shape, it almost looks as if it's a spaceship or a boat that's landed on the ground. Number 13. The Sky Garden House One of the things houses of the future will focus on is to minimize their footprint on the surroundings. Designers are going to extreme lengths to virtually hide them within their neighborhoods, so their environmental impact is significantly reduced. The Sky Garden House is a great example of this and was built by Goose Architects in 2010. It's on Sentosa Island, which is near to Singapore, and has almost 10,000 square feet of living space. You wouldn't necessarily know it from looking at the house, though, because the roof of each of the three levels are covered in gardens. The house also features a stone-lined swimming pool with a perspex wall that can be looked through from the lowest level, a snaking wooden staircase to move between floors, and a futuristic curved roof at the top with glorious views out across the bay. Not only does this house make use of the parts of a building that are often left vacant, but it's also a great way to offer residents far more from a small plot of land. On the island, houses are built very close to each other because of the limited space, and this way the owners of the home have access to a much larger outdoor garden area than would otherwise be possible. Number 12. High Desert House, Joshua Tree National Park One of the most futuristic and discreet homes in the world can be found in the Joshua Tree National Park, although you might not be able to find it unless you know exactly where to look. Designed by Kendrick Bangs Kellogg, the High Desert House is on the edge of the park and is designed to blend in with its surroundings in an elegant way. With 5,000 square feet of living space, it's made up of 26 freestanding concrete columns that almost look like giant rib bones that have been left behind by a long extinct monster. Each of the columns is embedded at least 7 feet within the bedrock to ensure it remains stable and are connected with sandblasted glass panels that spread the light throughout the property during the day and grant an incredible view of the night sky from inside. Everything across the five floors of the structure was created from locally sourced materials, and the arches and curves continue inside and out. It took Kellogg five years to complete the building, which he finished in 1993, but it took a further 14 years for John Virgin, an artisanal designer, to handcraft the furniture and other decorative elements for the interior. When it was finally finished in 2014, it immediately took its place as one of the most creative, forward-thinking, and majestic homes in the world. And while it'll surely never be copied, there are plenty of design techniques and ideas that will be applied to other homes of the future. Number 11. 
Noam Spaceship House, La Moralea, Spain. NASA and other space agencies around the world have spent a great deal of resources in recent decades to learn how humans would react by living for extended periods of time in spaceships. But they could have just waited, because a number of futuristic homes are being based on UFO designs. Possibly the most impressive is known as the Noem Spaceship House, and it was completed in 2015 in the hills of La Morelia in Spain. It was created for a film director, who's also a massive science fiction fan, and wanted to live in a home fit for the future that also gave him views across the hilltop. To build it as quickly as possible without disturbing the serene environment, most of the house was pre-built in a factory and simply installed in place, with the actual construction on site just taking two months. The exterior is made of galvanized steel, and beneath it is insulated timber, which helps keep the home cool in the summer and warm in the winter. 13-foot tall struts are used to suspend the house in the air to enhance the views, and a former airport stairway is used to gain access. As you'd expect, technology is at the heart of this home, and virtually everything can be controlled by a smartphone app. There's no doubt that the house looks like something you'd expect to see on an alien planet, and it'd hardly be a surprise if, when the time comes, the owner was able to fly it into the sky and resettle somewhere else. While we may not all be living in spaceship-esque buildings anytime soon, the idea of this prefab design is already becoming more common, and the use of new materials is also something we'll see more often in the coming years. Number 10. H3, Greece Built by the 314 Architecture Studio, H3 is a futuristic family house on the outskirts of Athens in Greece. It's on a 75,000 square foot piece of land and uses this space to its full advantage. Most of the structure is supported on top of a series of pillars which give the sensation that it's floating above the swimming pool, something the owners particularly wanted because of their love of yachting. The straight edges certainly feel futuristic, but surprisingly the building is also eco-friendly. It uses water to cool the rooms and harnesses geothermal energy to provide warmth. With almost 11,000 square feet of living space, it's spread across three floors. There are four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a large kitchen, but the biggest appeal of this house is its extensive leisure facilities. There's the main pool and outdoor space around it, as well as a fitness suite, a squash court, a sauna, and two guest rooms, which all adjoin each other. The roof of the first level is covered with grass to create even more outdoor space. Because of its ability to generate its own power, the house draws very little from the national grid. It's a major step towards being a self-sufficient home, while at the same time being luxurious. Could this be a sign of things to come? Number 9. Tresarca, Las Vegas Tresarca is a forward-thinking home in Las Vegas that was designed by Assemblage Studio. With 8,000 square feet of living space, the intention was that it would fit in with its surroundings and draw from the wide range of different materials that could be sourced locally. The entire structure of the house is meant to represent the stratification of the Red Rock Mountains that are nearby, so the color scheme and materials used for the basement are very different from those used higher up in the private quarters. Gaps between the walls allow for airflow to regulate the home's temperature, and the architects wanted to blur the lines between what's inside and outside to create one continuous experience. What's unusual about Tresarca is the use of faceted steel screen with a fine mesh around the top floors, but rather than being a purely aesthetic choice, it's performing a vital function too. It actually helps to diffuse the sunlight to illuminate all of the rooms and helps to keep it cool but private during even the hottest of Nevada days without the need for energy-consuming AC units. Number 8. Los Terrenos One of the things that we want from our homes is the sense of privacy where we can shut ourselves off from the outside world. Different designs achieve this in different ways, but perhaps the most secluded and discreet place you could ever live is Los Terranos in San Pedro Garza Garcia in Mexico. Designed by Tatiana Bilbao and completed in 2016, the 5,100-square-foot property is unlike any other. That's because its exterior is completely covered with mirrored glass, earth, and clay bricks, meaning it's virtually invisible until you're close up to it. There are two buildings on the site around a curvilinear pool, and perhaps the best part is that the panels are actually one-way mirrors, so when you're inside you can look directly out. It's like having your own private space within the forest and gives an unparalleled opportunity to be at one with nature. The original intention of the home was for it to be a holiday residence, but as more people have become aware of it, other designs for primary residences based on the design have been planned for elsewhere around the world. It's a great example of how new materials can be incorporated into building designs and just a glimpse of what's going to be possible in the upcoming decades. Number 7. Shell House, Japan 
deep within a forest in the Nagano Prefecture of Japan, there's a small house that was built by Tonomarao architects that looks as if it's almost always been there. The owner wanted a place that blended in seamlessly with its surroundings and was as eco-conscious as possible. So the desires used traditional methods and techniques to build it, but ensured that it was fit for a modern and future lifestyle. The exterior of the organically shaped structure looks like a shell and curves around the north and west parts of the building to protect against the wind. To the south and east, however, the home is open so as to let the sunlight beam in and allow residents to feel a part of nature. Great effort was devoted to ensuring the house had as little impact on the environment as possible. It was made from FSC timber, local earth, and was completely constructed by hand without any power tools or nasty chemicals. It also makes use of the latest insulation materials, which means that its energy consumption is negligible throughout the year. A house like this may not be suitable for everyone, particularly the environmentally conscious ones will likely influence home designs for many years to come. Number 6. UFO House, Bruneck, Italy Stefan Hithala, a German architect, became aware of a chalet that had been built in Italy, near to the border with Austria, and that had been unoccupied for several years. It had originally been constructed in 1973, but rather than letting it go to waste, he instead decided to refurbish it. The result was a building that's often referred to by locals as the UFO house, and it used a number of techniques that many homes of the future surely will, the main one being the recycling of an older house as opposed to starting from scratch. It was made as a five-sided prism on top of support struts to keep it clear of the snow, and there are two beds actually integrated into the main structure on either side of the main room. Hithala upgraded the insulation, which now means it retains the vast majority of any heat, and the addition of windows, LED strips, and a completely redesigned balcony now means the property feels more spacious and well-lit. Because of the way it's supported, the house appears to be floating above the ground, and the installation of a ladder that folds up to form part of the sidewall undoubtedly makes it look like a UFO. It's a great design choice, but also a practical one, because by making an entrance like that, far less space is taken up and more can be dedicated to the living area. Even though the structure itself is almost 50 years old, all the alterations that have been made mean it's more than suited for modern lifestyles for many years to come. Number 5. House on the Flight of Birds, Portugal The aptly named House on the Flight of Birds was designed by architect Bernardo Rodriguez and is on the northern side of the island of St. Michael in the Azores island chain of Portugal. The island experiences regular rainstorms and strong winds, so the starting point of the home's design was a large wall to offer protection, with the open parts of the house behind it. The ground level of the house has patios and courtyards surrounded by glass and covers that give wondrous views over the surroundings while preventing rain from seeping in, while the upper floor where the bedrooms are is much more enclosed. Traditional architecture elements were incorporated, such as high chimneys and a double-height living room, while the use of curved lines complements these to give the residents a futuristic feel. The main part of the house is curved in a similar way to how birds look when they're flying, and as well as being chosen for aesthetic purposes, this also helps to encourage the wind to blow straight over instead of getting caught on the edges and channeling towards the living spaces. It's a surprising house to see on the island among the more established homes, but after proving to be a success, there are plans to build similar ones elsewhere in the community. Number 4. Comb House, Egypt This unusual small home is known as the Comb House, and it was designed by Egyptian architect Karim Rashid. It can be seen in Cairo, Egypt, and virtually every element is intended to be as environmentally conscious as possible. All the lighting in the home is provided by low-energy LED bulbs, solar panels are used to heat the water, and all gray water that's produced in the home is recycled. Radiant floor heating is used to warm the building, while the latest design of insulation ensures that the majority of this remains inside the house. The exterior of the house is made from reclaimed wood fins that are set at angles to create privacy, and the interior is split into four different themed zones for playing, eating, sleeping, and cleaning. Being eco-friendly doesn't have to be boring, though, and the comb house is proof of this. There is, for example, a skylight in the center of the roof that not only bathes the interior with natural sunlight, but also collects rainwater that's channeled into the interior plunge pool. There's also what the designers call a kinetic levitating art sculpture, and this is spun by the wind as it blows over the house and creates further energy to be used. Number 3. The Staub Residence, Arizona the incredible Staub Residence is one of the most futuristic homes in the U.S. and overlooks the McDowell Mountains in Arizona. 
completed in 2013 and has a total interior space of just over 3,000 square feet, and it was specifically designed to make the best use of a small plot in a busy neighborhood while giving a sense of privacy and seclusion. The architects point out that the other homes nearby are built to show off rather than to focus on the actual quality of living inside, and the Staub residence has attempted to rectify this. The pool area and backyard are protected spaces, and everything on the second level is arranged to take advantage of the spectacular views in the distance. The house is built from locally sourced sandblasted masonry walls with stainless steel and glass. You immediately feel the sense of separation as you enter, because to reach the front door requires walking through a field of desert grasses into an opening between two masonry walls. With all the features you'd expect from a modern or futuristic home, the Staub residence is proof that it's possible to have your own private space even within a crowded community. Number 2. Modular House One of the challenges everyone faces with their homes is the way that, apart from the option of building an extension, there's very little that can be done to the layout of the property without significant work and expense. People often outgrow their homes and find themselves in a house that's too large for their needs or simply want to upgrade or install new features. This usually means needing to move or undertake extensive works, but the homes of the future may work entirely differently. By adopting a modular design, it's possible for new homeowners to simply pick the rooms and features that they want and have them combined into a house in virtually no time at all. They mean that we can customize our properties to incorporate everything that we need, and all we then need to do is to pick the ideal location for it. What's great about this method of building a house, though, is the fact that they're designed so extra modules can be added or replaced. If your child moves away from home, their room could be removed or potentially sent with them and you can install a fitness suite or make more room for your backyard instead. If the family expands or you want more space, it's simply a case of picking what you want and could be installed within a matter of weeks. There's no reason why these homes can't look the part either, and a number of design agencies are getting in on the act. It's a niche industry now, but as technology and designs improve, it could well become the norm for new homes within the next decade or so. Number 1. Neo-Andean Architecture, Bolivia one of the things that defines a style of architecture is that the way that it looks. It doesn't need a trained eye to be able to guess when a house was built just from its size, the shape of the windows, and the overall aesthetic. But what will the homes of the future look like? There's one train of thought that they'll be similar to those seen in science fiction, with clean, straight lines and open spaces. But in Bolivia, things could be very different. The Neo-Andean architecture is a movement that first emerged in 2005, mainly in the city of El Alto. It's been spearheaded by an architect called Freddy Mamani, and there are now more than a hundred structures on the skyline that fit within the style. Using vibrant, solid colors on both the exteriors and interiors, it almost looks as if it's been lifted straight from a comic book and borrows from traditional Bolivian styles as well as future-facing ones. By combining unusually positioned geometric shapes along with these color schemes, they are fun and exciting designs that look like futuristic versions of the colorful homes you see elsewhere in the world. This style has now become so popular that Mamani has been invited to other cities, such as Paris and London, to design bespoke structures to stand out against the backdrop, and it's quite possible that one will be built near you soon. The only drawback is the construction cost, which is significantly more than traditional building. But so far, the owners of the buildings in El Alto have been quite happy because tenants are happy to pay a premium to be able to call one of these structures home.